My book is entitled Dramatic Science and it's full of inspiring ideas for teachers to use to help children in the classroom understand science better. It's full of innovative ideas for ways that you could use drama. So lots of different strategies like mind movies on the table, freeze frame, um, monologues, mini historical plays, a whole raft of different theatrical strategies that can really help children move, enact, talk as if they're a scientist and, and actually act as if they are a scientist so that they prefer science and learn better. There's also some research evidence in here of the impact of using drama to teach science because we know it really motivates more children because they're more engrossed, because they're talking more about the science, they're having to think before they act, they have to work in groups. So the working in groups means that they really have to think through quite clearly what it is they're going to show when they then perform in front of others. So lots of useful reading for both teachers and researchers of um, innovative pedagogy in school. Yeah, this has been running for about three years now so yeah we've got more um, work that we want to follow up with so we know that different drama strategies develop different kinds of skills in the children. So in the new national curriculum the children now have to work scientifically and the drama can help them learn how to ask better higher order questions, it can help them think about about how a scientist worked in the past and actually emulate like Isaac Newton's work or Mary Anning's work and so they can feel what it's like to be a scientist.